Thanks for the support as a channel member, Kieran Hodgkinson. Well, boys and girls, I did exactly what I said I shouldn't do yesterday in the transfer special. We've signed 12 new players. We've messed up Team Gahesian a little bit again, but we are second favourites for promotion. There's no excuses this year, is there? We've got to get promoted this time round. Hello and welcome to part 18 of non to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, I have the first two games of Season 3 for you in the National League North. We're away against Southport. We're at home against Farsley. If you missed the transfer special yesterday, uh, you should go back and watch it because we signed a lot of players and a lot of them are going to be involved this season. So go check them out. Ignore this. We don't need to talk about the money. Ignore this. We don't need to talk about the dynamics. The important thing is we're going to win both of these matches today and the only thing you really need to be paying attention to is this. We are second favourites to go up. We've got a player in the Media Dream 11, and we're going to be top of the league by the end of the episode. That's all that matters. Exactly. Um, if you are enjoying the season, so the season, the series so far, and you're excited for season three, and you think we're going to go up this year, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on the video. I try not to ask too often, but if you have a look through the pattern on the channel, you'll see that those days where we get to 5,000 likes or close to 5,000 likes, that tends to coincide with the days we get the most views as well. It's a direct correlation. So those of you who like every day regardless, thank you. Please keep that up. It's awesome. The rest of you, if you could just press that like button, that, that would be super. Please and thank you. Yeah? Fine. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's play a football match. Uh, we're away against Southport. I don't know how good Southport are. Um, Southport last season finished 15th. Um, they should be a team that we're capable of going and beating, and this is the team we're going to go and try and beat them with. And um, we've got St. Paul in goal, a back four of Brown, Rice, Akagbu, and new boy Harvey Rhodes, who joined us from Aston Villa in the summer. And we then got some new boys in midfield, Scott Smith, signed from Wigan in the summer, um, and Anurin Livermore, uh, signed from Newport, and has played lots of games at a higher level. Keep a close eye on him. I'm expecting him to be our new superstar. Jordan McInef, um, also on debut, professional debut, having signed from Arsenal in the summer. And then Andrucci, who signed towards the end of last year. Waltman, also on debut as well on the right wing, a professional debut for him. Um, and then Elliot Andrew up front, who got 24 goals for us last year. So a bit of a mix of experienced players who've been here with us last year during our charge at the league table and players who've either never played for us before or never played a game of football before. So this could go either way, but you know what? I, I am hopeful for this season. We've got our new club captain, Isaac Rice, wearing the wearing the captain's armband with pride. And fingers crossed, we put on a little bit of a show today. Smith with a ball over the top really early on. Andrew goes around the keeper, but couldn't apply the finish before the defender comes in and makes the block. That would have been the perfect start to the game. Um, I mean, it, it looked good. A ball over the top for Andrew. That's going to be one of our major routes to goal this year. Andrew, Andrucci and Waltman are all quick and good finishers. We are going to be looking for the three midfield players to dink the ball over the top to them quite a lot. That's part of the plan. And obviously still getting the uh, the width and the crossing from the fullbacks getting forward. And we're losing. And this is not part of the script. Well, let's have a little look to see where it all started to go wrong, shall we? Um, so they pick the ball up here. There's absolutely nobody. I mean, I said there's nobody closing down. There is. Number 17, Waltman, is actually doing his best to close down. But the ball forward just goes between the two centre-backs. Neither of them know who's supposed to be picking up the attacking midfielder who's burst through into the penalty area late. And he scores. It's frustrating because they've beaten us at our own game there. That's the way we tried to play. And it's like we didn't know it was possible for other teams to do it. Smith, who seems to have had a bright start, charging forward in midfield again. And now McInef. We just need one of these new boys to show us how good they are and just weigh in with something a little bit special. Or, you know what? One of the players are here. I don't care who it is. We just need an equaliser. And Pronto, Livermore, spraying the ball to Brown out on the left. He hits it first time on the volley for the cross. And now he's hit it with his weak foot. Two very extravagant crosses from Brown at left back. I would have been happy with either of them if he'd have just taken control of the ball and hit one of our players. But clearly he wants to show off in front of the new boys. 
I'm not sure I'm on board with it, but uh, it's not been disastrous in this first half. Smith with a solid tackle there, and McInef now um, loses the ball, and mm, it's Southport on the attack again, and their cross comes in, and the header is only just wide. And if we'd have gone 2-0 down, you might have seen me starting to panic because... I'm feeling quite panicky right now. We're going to point the finger, tell them they need to be doing better in front of goal. But what we are going to do is pump the fists and try and motivate everybody. It's the first day of the season. I am up for this. I need to see that they're up for it too. We need to not lose because Kidderminster are already 4-0 up in their game. They're not going to, I mean, they're not going to wait for us to gel and catch up with them. If, if we're going to have any chance of automatic promotion, we've got to go blow for blow with Kidderminster from the off. It seems silly to say on the first day of the season, but dropping points this early in the season is likely to push us into the playoffs or worse. Imagine imagine if we don't even get into playoffs this year. I think I'd probably get fired based on the new club expectations and how much money we've spent. This is, this is one of those seasons where it's not going to be enough to just survive or finish mid-table anymore. The board... Uh, are expecting us to have a good season. They're not necessarily expecting promotion, but they're expecting us to be competitive and not have our new star man sent off on his debut, which is exactly what's happened. That's 40 games of League Two and National League experience right there for you, boys and girls. This is a disaster of a first day. Oh, dear. Right. We'll just move McInef back for now while I try and work out what on earth we can do to try and grab an equaliser. With 10 men, I'm always a disaster. We've had 11 shots and only one on target. To be fair, we have done better for XG. It's not that we've been completely outplayed. They just took their chance. We didn't take ours. Andrucci has been really poor. What I might do... It seems silly to switch the tactic around this early, but we might do something like this and take Andrucci off so that we can get Chong on in midfield, who is a known entity for us in there. And then Wolfman wants to be a pressing forward, so he can be a pressing forward up with Andrew, and McInef can kind of pull the strings in behind. That being said, we might bring on Adedoyin who wants to be a deep line for, that might even work better. So if we bring him on, or Waltman, do that, and then he wants to be a playmaker, let him let him make play. We're going to go attacking because we need to, we need to win the football match. Not necessarily win. We at least need to, at least need to not lose the football match. Right. We've shuffled things around a little bit. We've gone to two up top which is something we will be able to shift to quite a lot this season. We've got so many players who are strikers, naturally. Um, and now McInef's shattered. So I think Mayer is natural as an attacking midfielder. He is as a shadow striker as well. So what we might do is get him on in there as a shadow striker. And then we've got Andrew making all these runs, Adedoyan dropping a little bit deeper, and Mayer charging through between the two of them. Might work. Maybe it'll work. Be nice. I mean, look, we've been the better team. Can we just do a goal, please? The defence and midfield have played quite well, apart from the one who got sent off. The attack has showed us nothing, though, which suggests we might need to shuffle it around and change what we're doing up top, whether it's changing personnel. Maybe we've gone too far away from having creative players up there. We've got a striker up front and basically strikers on both wings. Maybe we need someone who's actually going to create something for fewer strikers rather than having all the strikers on the pitch. Perhaps that's where the plan has come apart. Or maybe we've just been unlucky. First day of the new season, we've played well, and we've just been caught by the odd goal. That one's offside. We don't need to worry about that. And on another day, we win this. That chance early on from Andrew goes in. We're 1-0 up after four minutes, and the day looks very different then. We might even still grab an equaliser here. We're not going to, are we? Um, Southport coming at us again. Does somebody get a tackle in? I'm really disappointed in Livermore. Oh, I mean, I imagine you could... Is that Packham? He's gone on loan to this lot. Oh, no way. He, he turned us down. He didn't want to sign for us this summer. He's turned us down and gone on loan to them. And they've then gone and beat us. He's having a lovely day. 
And we're 2-0 down now as we try and chase the equaliser with 10 men. This has not gone to plan. Oh, can I have a time machine? Can I go back and not sign so many players? Go with the team from last year that we know works. I mean, they're all still here. It is an option. That didn't go to plan. We are at home in the next game, though, so always the chance for redemption. Folks, I just want to take a moment to thank today's episode sponsor, Skillshare. Now, as I'm sure you know by now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have classes on all sorts of things, ranging through graphic design, film and video, entrepreneurship, web development, and loads more. And as we're at the start of a new game cycle here on the channel with lots of new viewers, experience seeing the content for the first time I'm getting quite a few people asking me how they can get started and have a go at making their own YouTube content and really the place you need to start is learning to edit you can't make videos if you can't edit them this course is for you learn Premiere Pro and edit a how-to video for beginners the bit I want to draw your particular attention to on this class um, is basic audio editing, because audio editing is the thing that people forget, but it's arguably the most important thing when it comes to creating your own content. You can put up with slightly iffy video. You don't put up with slightly iffy audio for very long. Audio editing is something you need to be learning if you want to create content. And this class has got you covered. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there's no ads and they're adding new premium classes all the time. And what's more, using the link at the top of the description below, you can get a one month free trial to test it all out for yourself. So what you're waiting for, head down to the top of the description, get yourself sorted on your one month trial of Skillshare. We've been working with Skillshare for a long time on the channel now. They've helped me out loads on all the improvements you've seen on the channel over the last year, year and a half or so. They're awesome. Go support them and also support the channel. You know, this is these are the win-win thumbs. Right, you're going to see a lot of this at the start of this season as I flail around trying to work out what my best 11 is. I've not gone back to last year's team. I'm going to make this team work. We are going to go up. We're going to get promoted. I might stop saying we're going to go up as champions. That seems less likely, but we are going to get promoted. So we brought Marshall in in goal. Um, Colvin has come in. So Marshall... Signed from Aston Villa, professional debut today. He comes in in goal. Uh, Colvin is coming in at centre-back. I've dropped the new club captain immediately, um, but he played a season in the National League last year, so he can come in and partner a Kagbu. Uh, Mayer, who you saw come on as an attacking midfielder in the last game, replaces Livermore in central midfield. And then we're shuffling around the front three. We've dropped Elliot Andrew after that miss early on. Andrucci moves up front from the left wing. Waltman moves from the right wing to the left wing. And Adedoyin, who came on in the last game, comes in on the right-hand side. We're gonna, we're just gonna try combinations until we find one that works. That's never gone wrong in Football Manager, has it? Just fiddling. I mean, I've learned, I, I know, the intellectual part of me knows the right thing to do here is pick a system, pick an 11, play them for half a dozen games so they get used to playing it, and then they'll be fine. But the, the, the heart rules the head sometimes, and I don't want to wait six games, I want success now, and maybe if I roll the dice enough times, I'll stumble across something that works sooner. Just, you got, you got to gamble sometimes. I mean, I know if we got in form in six games' time, we'd still comfortably be able to win the league, potentially. Depends how good Kidderminster are. They're ahead again already. Uh, but we could at least be well in the playoff mix, whereas if we roll the dice till Christmas again, who knows what might happen. We've been terrible in this first half, that's for sure. But then so far, you've not even had a shot. Um, but we need, to, we need to wake these boys up. We've not scored a goal yet in this first episode of the new era, the new season, the promotion season. And we've not even scored a goal yet. Come on, boys. We've got to do better than this. Right. Lewis Brown with the free kick. Mayer's there, but his header hits. I think that's hit the top of the crossbar, top of the netting. Either way, wasn't a goal, which is what we were looking for. Smith with the cross, though. Waltman trying to get on the end of it, but can't. And now Farsley have got the chance for a counter-attack, but Colvin is there to comfortably collect and play it back to Marshall. Our first look at him 
in goal for us. He was just trying to figure out how to kick a football there by the looks of him. But Andrucci's in here. Our top shirt seller of last season. And he's got his first goal for the club. Andrucci might be our new striker because at the moment he's the man in possession and he scored our first goal of the season. Leamington won. Fastly Celtic nil. Marshall does brilliantly. What a what a big kick that boy has. It eludes the defender. I mean, we've gone full non-league there. Never go full non-league. Sometimes you have to go full non-league. The big ball forward from Marshall, who I mocked initially for taking so long to get the ball out from under his feet. He was just picking his spot. He was picking his pass. It was a through ball. That wasn't a goal kick. That was a through ball. And now we're ahead and we've got a corner and it's Smith to hit the in-swinger. Colvin's there. Um, but he couldn't get his header away. Now Mayer plays it back out to Smith again, back to Mayer, and now Akagbu, not the man we wanted to see picking the ball up there, and it goes all the way back to Lewis Brown, who's trying to keep this move going. Um, he's gone past his man, giving it back to Akagbu again. These are the wrong players to have the football. Just, yeah, it's gone all the way back to Marshall. We're looking for another through ball from him. He's looking to pick his spot again. Look, look at the kick on that man. He can kick the ball. Uh, that one might have been a shot. He can kick the ball further than any other goalkeeper in history. We might have a new secret weapon. Ball at the top to Andrucci again. And this time he can't apply the finish. But this might... I mean, we might be going route one this season with a goalkeeper who can kick like that. That is insane. Um, kicking, only 12. He is six foot five, though, so he can clearly put some welly behind it. I mean, we might send him forward for corners. Um, right, substitutions, because there's tired legs on this pitch. McInef can come off. Donnell Thomas, one of the boys from last year, can come on to replace him. Um, Adedoyan's not played well. Um, so I think what we'll do here is stick... Uh, what do we do? I haven't got a winger on the bench. Thomas is the only one who can really play out wide. I want to bring Theodros on, actually. So what we might do is stick Thomas... On the left, where we've used him before, Waltman can go over to the right. I'm who am I trying to take off here? Adedoyan, bring Theodros in in there. We want to see how he's progressed this season. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make him an inverted winger on support. We're gonna make him get further forward. We're gonna switch these two round. We've done this a few times before, and it seems to work quite well. Um, and then I think we'll just sit on the last change. We've got Andrew Cornish. Rice. I mean, that's your that's your core of the team from last year. The captain and centre back, the vice captain and tough tackling midfielder, and the top scorer. That is a nice bench to have still sat there. And hopefully the fact that those three are still sat on the bench for 20 minutes to go sends a message to the entire team that nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Everything uh, positions in this squad are to play for. And let's let's all be awesome. That's the message we're trying to send. Right, Alex Brown is on a yellow card and shattered. Sam Cornish has played left back for the under-23s recently. I noticed it on a report I got through from them. So we're going to bring him on to play left back. What's the worst that can happen? We'll turn him into a left back. That'll be his way of maintaining his spot in the team. Those of you who have been around on the channel for years might remember Sir Tom Elliott, who was a midfielder we had at Nuneaton, who ended up finally breaking into the team long-term at fullback before re-establishing himself in central midfield and going on to become a hero. So Sam Cornish might have that career trajectory ahead of him. Thomas has got the ball here on the counter-attack after another enormous goal kick from Marshall. That is a real weapon we've got this year. Smith from range. Lovely goal from Scott Smith. It's 2-0. This is a lot more like it. And it's ridiculous, really, that the most th the thing I'm most excited about is my new six foot five goalkeeper who can kick it the entire length of the pitch. This is, we we need to capitalise on this. Let me know down in the comments, what do we do to capitalise? And we've already got him taking long kicks. Do we need do we need a target man for him to aim for? What's the plan? How do we, or do we just carry on doing what we're doing? It's led to two goals in that game. We've won 2-0. We're well back in the mix. Um, Kidderminster are just relentless. That's going to be a problem. How soon do we play them? Ages away. Right, I think the plan from here, once again, like last year, we're not gonna we're not gonna dawdle this season and we're gonna try and get through some games. It's our third year at this level. I am conscious that we need to start making some progress in the save. So I mean I'm I'm not gonna go all the way to Kidderminster. That seems a little bit too far. But we'll be somewhere probably six, seven, eight games away. Get some games under our belt. By the time you see me again, 
we should know the tactic we're playing. We should know our best 11 and we should be top three in the league. That's the plan. I wonder if it'll work out like that. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.